Hi there, my name's Tom, and uh, today I'm hoping this will be my last political video until uh, Friday this week. God, crazy really does throw things off when it comes to planning. Um, <clears throat> so I did a short this morning regarding political violence and rhetoric and that there was one player in the game we still had to hear from. In terms of toning it down and um, not deliberately triggering people's defense mechanisms and uh, appealing to the crazies and uh, well we've actually heard from that player it seems he's thrown away his my opponent is uh, Satan incarnate speech and is going to do a uh, unity speech like a normal human being uh which is uh, a very big and unexpected change uh we'll see how things go now as this takes place well do i think this is a genuine change in them as a person mm, i don't know about that i'm I, i'm pretty skeptical now, it's true, events like what happened in Pennsylvania tend to be profoundly life-altering for some people. Maybe that's happened. Um, you know, God made man, cult made them equal. Uh, another phrase I always found uh, enlightening was, a round in the chamber beats four aces every time. Now, admittedly, this violence is completely unacceptable. However, we have to recognize that, you know, it happens when you, uh, well, when you play with fire, you get burned. And hopefully, this will be the end of that. Um, do I think that changes who he is as a person? Not necessarily. It just might mean a... I've learned this specific lesson. That uh, when I am appealing to the crazies, sometimes I don't always attract the kind of crazy I wanted to. Why am I phrasing it like that? Well... It's kind of appropriate that it was around this time last year that I went viral for the first time. Minor league viral. Not like big content creators. Um, I did a short regarding Archie Bunker. And I did a long video follow-up. Though, uh, well, the short did great. The follow-up, no one watched. Whatever. But basically, the gist of it was... Uh, it was about Archie Bunker. And... The shows were All in the Family and Archie Bunker's Place. And it was the nine-year-long uh, chronicle of a man who, well, he was an alcoholic, a misogynist, and a bigot. And slowly, over those nine years, he became a somewhat better person. To the extent that when the show wrapped, his uh, best friend was a black woman. Um... But how it worked was basically how real life works when you're dealing with um, a narcissist or an addict or an abuser or any of those things. Archie says and does bad things. His long-suffering family, funny, you know, through humor attached, but bad things. His long-suffering family encourages him to be a better person. And he doubles down. And then bad things happen to Archie Bunker, and we laugh at Archie Bunker. And occasionally, he learns a profound life lesson. But then a week later, he's back to the same old self. It's like he never learned that lesson in the first place, because that's what real life is like when you're dealing with an addict or a narcissist. It doesn't happen overnight, is all I'm saying. It takes years. So I don't think this is, you know, I mean, it was very well written, uh, you know, the, the realism there. And I don't think that 
what we're seeing from um, Trump is he's changed overnight. That's not how reality works. But there was a hard lesson learned. And hopefully uh, he takes away more from it than just, oh, stop playing with crazy. Hopefully he learned more than that. And hopefully it'll stick and that we're not back to the same nonsense next week. You know, let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Have a good day.